It's the name on everyone's lips. Kate, where is she? Body doubles, affair rumours and a major security breach when all the princess wants is a little privacy. The world's desperation to know every little detail has made it worse for the favourite royal couple. Enter Rose. Who is she and what she got to do with Kate? The royals have body doubles as well. Uh, but what how I do read. you know this? She I read, read it. it. You read, read it. it. Okay. I read it. Oh. Okay. My. Word. She's gone. No one knows where she is. Now. <laughs> They've lost the plot over the so-called missing princess. We need to hear and see her she's in a live video. Just, 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 just say how that, that she's okay. Princess Kate, a victim of runaway rumours, salacious speculation and callous conspiracy theories. It's been absolutely unprecedented. I've never known a time like it in all my years of covering the royals. This just seems like an extended uh, episode of The Crown. Those childhood dreams of becoming a princess, now dwarfed by a real-life nightmare. Shocking even the most open-minded of royal reporters, like Russell Myers. This has been absolutely outrageous. I think that's, at, it, at the very base, a lot of people have forgotten that there is a woman at the centre of this who has had a very serious operation, who has appealed for privacy. Privacy and princesses haven't exactly gone hand in hand over the years. Now the explosive media report, a staff member at the exclusive hospital where Kate underwent abdominal surgery, tried to get their hands on her medical records. A uh, major security breach has been explained to me that uh, a member of staff has allegedly access to the Princess of Wales's private medical records and hugely, hugely damaging for the hospital. And I think that uh, Kensington Palace have not only been notified, but uh, will no doubt be shocked by the allegations as much as everybody else. The London Clinic, which is also where King Charles was recently treated for a prostate issue, is renowned for being discreet and has long served the royal family. If medical professionals are allegedly accessing private medical data, the people that who are entrusted with her care, then something has gone seriously wrong down the line. The latest development leaves UK royal watches in no doubt the line's been crossed when it comes to Kate's health. The Princess of Wales, like any other citizen, has an absolute right to privacy. And I think that uh, certainly we've seen the mainstream media absolutely respect that. It's social media which has exploded into this realm of conspiracy theory, which has unfortunately spilled over to US chat shows, uh, you know, pontificating about why the reasons why she was in hospital. The mystery over Kate Middleton continues this morning. Conspiracy theories, well, they just keep on coming for the royal family. Across the pond, US entertainment reporter Sam Rubin makes no apologies on behalf of entertainment hosts jumping on the royal bandwagon. When you consider the treatment primarily on the far side of the Atlantic that Meghan Markle received, it was, it was certainly harsher and meaner and, and more difficult than any kind of conversation that people are having about Kate. The Princess of Wales' brief and low-key outing since hospital, only fueling the fire, the pics of her are fake. The speculators even going one step further, is Kate still with us? At this point, it may be nice for her to at least poke her head out of the window or something in the flesh, yeah. because obviously this has just gone way too far. If that's not scandalous enough, Kate's also having to deal with gossip her marriage is on the rocks. Prince William apparently courting a rumoured old flame, Rose Hanbury, whose title has more syllables than Henry VIII had wives. I think we all know who the alleged other woman is. Say it with me, the Marchioness of Chalmondeley. <laughs> the 40-year-old former model, now married to a 62-year-old Lord, David Chumley. The couple, besties with the prince and princess, making their next high tea a tough outing. Rose's title might be a tongue twister, but it's one mainstream UK media aren't willing to say out loud just yet.
I'm not going to get into it, to be honest. I don't, I don't think it's worth the, um, worth the oxygen. No proof Rose will end up being a thorn in Kate's side, but the salaciousness certain to make more waves across the Atlantic. The plot absolutely thickens, and again, Rose, whose name and uh, her official name uh, do not roll off the tongue easily and are not on the lips of many Americans, uh, is becoming more prominent, or, or dare I say infamous, uh, in just the last 48 hours or so. Yeah, I think Kate deserves her privacy, but perhaps it could have been handled a little better.